This is Dawson Meadows with The Video Wire, and here's what's out there. Exide Technologies has received $30.7 million in cost-sharing grant from the federal government to upgrade its Fort Smith battery manufacturing plant as a part of a program to improve battery systems used on the U.S. Navy nuclear submarines. The project will add 12,000 square feet to the already 224,000 square foot plant, and work is set to begin immediately and finish by August 2021. The grant work is referred to as Project Neptune. Well, kudos for picking that planet name. <laughs> Project Uranus just doesn't have the same punch to it. More on Project Neptune at talkbusiness.net. A Fort Smith attorney has accused the Fort Smith Public School District of repairing the track at Southside High School without the school board's approval in a news release sent out on Tuesday. <laughs> Whoa, another attorney trying to run the school district through the ringer. It's like the whole mascot thing all over again. <laughs> what? It, what? It, it's, it's the same attorney? No, it's not. Stop. Are you fucking kidding me? It's the same one? I'm out. <sighs> All right. Sorry. I'm back. All right, we're good. Uh, Bill Hainsworth uh, has cleared the air. Uh, this apparently was approved uh, before the new school board came together in a September meeting uh, of the Committee of the Whole. They voted uh, unanimously to make the repairs that needed to be made. Uh, then the board, in a formal session, also voted unanimously to approve this. So, false alarm. <laughs> All good. <laughs> The Fort Chaffee Redevelopment Authority has won the Association of Defense Communities taking a former military base and redeveloping it into a badass sustainable residential community based redevelopment excellent award for excellence, or TAFMBRIIABSRRCRBRAEA uh, for short, uh, for its efforts at the Chaffee Crossing. More on this at talkbusiness.net. Well, with the 4th of July weekend upon us, here at the Video Wire, we think it's important to remind everyone of the dangers that are associated with blowing shit up, also with drinking beer while doing it. Also, a few city rules and regulations to keep in mind. Uh, first, the rules for inside city limits. No popping fireworks inside the city limits. There, simple as that. I know this rule is considered unfavorable to some, but as a father of a 15-month-old that needs her precious, precious sleep, please, please hold to this rule. Plus, it sounds like gunshots, and it scares the dogs. Come on, now, this is America, not Chicago. <laughs> now, as far as safe handling and rules of conduct, just, just use common sense. For instance, lighting a bottle rocket from your rear end is a good way to give yourself third degree burns and not shit right for a week. <laughs> I know this because of a friend, a friend of mine in high school. Second, supervise your little ones. Yes, even with sparklers, nothing can singe nose hairs quicker than the colorful sparks from a little pixie stick alcohol. Limit your consumption. I mean, except for that first beer. I mean, you gotta have a bottle to shoot the bottle rockets out of. Especially if you remember the rule about no bottle rockets out of the butt. Next, uh, when you buy your fireworks, make sure you buy them from a guy in overalls, a beard, has a faint smell of B.O. and is waving an American flag in front of his circus tent. Again, this is America. Last rule, have fun. It's a great family time to celebrate the discovery of America in 1492 and... No, that's... Freedom. Freedom. Happy 4th of July. To be completely safe this 4th of July, hey, join us at the river on Monday night, July 4th for the Mayor's 4th of July celebration. Music and festivities start at 7.30, fireworks at 9.30 p.m. So grab your blankets and your lawn chairs and head to the river Monday night. More things to do, the Bordertown Brew Fest, Ales for Trails, a craft beer festival is coming up July 9th on the river at Harry E. Kelly Riverfront Park. The event is for those of us 21 years of age and older and will feature beer, music, food, a beer run, and a bago tournament. Proceeds to benefit efforts to continuing to build uh, multi-use trails here in Fort Smith. Your support is needed. Secure your tickets at alesfortrailsfs.com. Stand up comedy fans, head over to the new Wishbone Music Joint, formerly Webby D's in downtown Fort Smith, July 17th for some great local comedy. I've seen several on the bill and I can promise you it's a night full of laughs. Next 
Next up at the Fort Smith Little Theater is the summer musical Singing in the Rain. Gala opening is July 28th. Mark your calendars for that. More info at fslt.org. Then the new summertime favorite event this year in its second year, the Peacemaker Music Fest, July 29th and 30th. An incredible lineup of artists coming to the fort. Check out peacemakerfest.com to learn more. A whole list of things to do can be found at things to do in fortsmith.com. Head on over, check it out. Time to draw for this week's winner for a pair of passes to Parrot Island Water Park. This week's winner is Patty West. Pa Patty? Pa Congrats, Patty. I know her. I'll be in contact. A few passes to go, so sign up at things to do in to win yours for the video wire. I'm Dawson Meadows. May I suggest a trip to the farmer's market on Saturday from 7 a.m. to noon. A truly incredible selection. Uh, I'm not sure the watermelons are there just yet, but as soon as they are, I'll promise to let you know. Uh, tomatoes are plentiful. I saw some peaches last week. It's, it's really great. Do yourself a favor. Wake up early and get downtown on Saturday. Have a great 4th of July weekend, and remember, stay positive out there. And if you love something... Love it out loud. This song is a tribute to an elite set of men who exercise their inalienable right to shoot, shoot off fireworks. Bobby taught us by example not to look down a Roman candle when you light it. He lost his right eye, but you know he's a better looking guy without it. And that jumbo bottle rocket Don lit in his pocket Would have flew if it weren't for his belt loop We were listening to Elvis When it shattered his pelvis But it was cool cause it blew Right at the end of Don't Be Cruel This song is for all our pyrotechnical heroes What they lacked in discretion They made up in combustion